You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports, and here we are setting here again. The NBA is about to do it again. They are about to make another massive virtue signaling mistake. The same kind of huge mistake they made last year with Jacob Blake when they decided to call off games for a criminal by the name of Jacob Blake. Well, as we know, the George Floyd trial, the Fentanyl Floyd trial, is ongoing right now as we speak. And the NBA is already sending signals and they are preparing everybody for a possible postponement slash boycott, whatever it is they're going to do, as they further alienate themselves from law-abiding citizens. We know how the NBA gets down this year. If you are patriots, if you are in support of law enforcement, uh, if you are in support of law and order, odds are the NBA doesn't share your ideals. Very quickly, make sure you pop over to blackandwhitenetwork.com. My, myself, John Matrix, shoots joint videos together over there. They're quality videos, in some cases 30 minutes or longer. Exclusive member live streams. And if you're a silver member, you will jump on member panels for exclusive live streams if you so choose. So go over there. You can also donate to the channel because odds are Big Tech YouTube is not going to like videos just like this one. Okay, so we're going to switch over and we'll check out this story. It just broke by way of the Marxist ESPN of China. Andrew Warjanowski, the NBA has instructed teams to be vigilant about the impact of potential verdict this week in the Derek Chauvin trial for the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis, including the possibility of game postponements. Sources told ESPN the looming specter of possible protest, wrong, rioting, looting, civil unrest, yeah, that's that that would be accurate, and team reactions Team reactions in the aftermath of the verdict has league offices preparing for the prospect that a night or two of league games could be postponed. So we're not talking about games just in uh, Minnesota. We're talking about games all over the place that could end up getting postponed. Final arguments are expected Monday in the case against the former police officer who faces charges of second-degree murder third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter in Floyd's death after he held his knee down on Floyd's neck for nine minutes. He pled not guilty to the charges. The Timberwolves and Nets postponed a game last week after the police shooting of an unarmed black man, Dante Wright, who is a career criminal, during a traffic stop in Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. The Timberwolves started a four-game, seven-day Western Conference road trip on Sunday, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on to talk about the fact that they postponed games last year due to the criminal Jacob Blake. And it was a massive black eye, and that's where you've seen the NBA ratings take even a further plummet down straight to hell because that's exactly where the ratings have gone. Uh, they're getting progressively worse. Uh, we just found out yesterday – the game of the week on ABC is now in all-time low territory, and it's a response. It's a response from law-abiding citizens that don't want to hear and or see the virtue signaling of the NBA. Adam Silver has let LeBron James run his mouth until he has absolutely cratered the league. And look, people did not appreciate putting Black Lives Matter and other things on the court, and now they're preparing in wake of another trial involving an, another police incident that uh, may or may, you know, depending on what they rule in court, again, that is in, that is infusing politics into sports, and it looks like the NBA could once again boycott games over George Floyd this time once the verdict comes in. And I'm going to be honest with you, me and Matrix both feel like Chauvin is going to get a not guilty. Okay, so... We know what that means. And, of course, mainstream media will try to cover for all of the unrest, the civil unrest, the riots, the destruction, et cetera, et cetera, that we're going to witness over the next week uh, due to that verdict. So well, I think we all know that. 
you know. Uh, so tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Here we go again. Here we go again with the NBA's nonsense. They don't understand. They've destroyed their league. They don't seem to care about that. What can you do? What can you do? We're out on the NBA anyway. So it doesn't matter. It's not like it's going to hurt their ratings anymore. They got destroyed by AEW Wrestling this past week in a head-to-head battle. Peace. I'm out. NBA. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.